Angela Salawa was dedicated to the care of the sick and maintained her faith through great suffering and even homelessness. This is a short biography of her life. She was born into a poor Polish family in 1881. She was a sickly child, but she tried her best to help her family. As a child, she was obedient and pious. As a teenager, she left home to work as a maid. It was here that her piety began to wane as she felt drawn to more worldly pursuits. Her sister Teresa fell sick. Before she died, she begged Angela to reconsider her life choices. Soon after, while dancing at a wedding reception, Angela saw a vision of Christ. He asked her how she could prefer dancing to following him. She immediately went to a church to pray, and this changed the course of her life. She considered pursuing a religious vocation, but her poor health prevented her from doing so. She remained a maid, taking a private vow of purity and virtue when she was 19. Her work as a maid continued, but she suffered a breach between herself and her family. This breach led her to identify with St. Francis of Assisi. She joined the secular Franciscan order in 1912. When the First World War broke out, she started work nursing soldiers and prisoners of war. The whole while, her own health was deteriorating quickly. In 1916, her employer accused her of stealing and she was fired. She was penniless, homeless, and in increasingly poor health. She was admitted to a hospital, but discharged because she outwardly appeared to be well. She died alone on March 12, 1922, abandoned by her family and friends. In life, she was relatively unknown, but her reputation for holiness grew after her death. According to Pope John Paul II, she showed an extraordinary responsiveness to the action of the Holy Spirit. She was beatified in 1991, and her feast day is March 12th. She is a patron of people with terminal illnesses and domestic workers.